You couldn't just open a tattoo shop anywhere. Not because of what tattooing was, you know? Unless you were somebody with some sort who wouldn't. Back, back in the day, I didn't allow, no. I didn't allow anyone. Once I'd, I'd no. moved into the triangle, I didn't allow anyone else to open up. Nor did I. Or, 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 or amateurs. We didn't allow any amateurs to work. Yeah. Stop. Stopped them crazy when you look back. Stop them the old fashioned way. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's, that's how it was, you know. I mean, if you, I, I don't know if you're Mad. familiar with things like the, the, like the Glasgow ice cream board, where the ice cream bands were all run by yeah, the Italian families, yeah. all battling, yeah. Yeah. big battles. The tattoo world was exactly the same. Like that. Straight in there, you're not tattooing there, get out. It was exactly. Got like back to Mars. He did, went back, and they're gone. They'd open shops and all sorts. It was common. It was commonplace, not not necessarily in this area, but it was commonplace back in the old days for rival shops to get burnt mm -hmm. out. Yeah, and similar. You know. Whilst more people are getting tattooed nowadays, um, yeah. uh, given the amount of artists per town, it's really no longer the same. No, no, no. no. Yeah. If you ain't got some sort of clientele. I wouldn't like to start again. I wouldn't want to be start starting out now. Well, no. no, for sure. No, after 20 years, we've tattooed fathers, kids now, we do the kids now. That boy's in that chair, that man in that chair there. They boy, he was running around when my, that's my son over there tattooing. Right. He's 33 this year, so I get it right, he'd kill me. But, and that boy, they used to run around together when they was kids. And now the next generation, he's tattooing him. Like. So, you know what I mean? He just keeps going through families. I think it's quite a... I think it's quite a uh, payable thing for all families that somebody will go on again to have another family. They never stop. I do. I get a lot of youngsters come, come to me because I tattooed their dad. Yeah, for sure. Or their uncle. Yeah. Even their granddad, John Shane. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a couple of cases. <laughs> you tattooed my granddad. Are you sure? <laughs> You have to pick your clients, really, and they pick you almost, don't they, John? Yeah. You know what's going on. You don't want to be get, uh, you know, wasting time on Tom, Dick, and Larry. You could waste hours. We do. We have done thousands of hours. Thousands that really weren't worth it. Do it you every care what they had in the first place, yeah. in the first year. We do it even now, really. Get people to, like with Facebook, it's Messenger all the time. Are you busy? How much is this? How much is this? Get off your ass, come in the shop, and I'll, I'll tell you how much it'll be. You can leave a deposit and we'll put a tattoo on you. But that it's so the... easy to be sitting behind a keyboard, bored. How much is this one? How much is this one? You're not going to have them. So you don't want to keep pricing them. I just think the single worst do. thing to happen to tattoo shops in this pop, internet across pop, pop, the Western world. Busy internet. Yeah, of course it is. And a lot of business like that. The deal is so good. Yeah, a couple of, couple of our, my mates got another shop as well in Paul. And I live in Paul. He sees me pretty much every night. And we laugh. I say, have you had that one today? He say, yeah. Because these purse, because these people know us both, they think I text Rod, see how much he's going to charge me. Then I text Bill or Kevin, see how much they're going to charge me. We're sitting there, we're both sent off at the same time, 50 quid. And they're getting bang, bang, and they must know something's on because they text two hours apart to us. But they still don't see that we're going to talk because tattoo shops, really, years ago, didn't like the other tattoo shops. You didn't, you didn't talk. You didn't you're, talk. You only talk with someone who was at least 30, 40 miles. Yeah, unless you knew them and you got on from them, yeah. So they think they can go into a tattoo shop and they run the other tattoo shop down by thinking they're going to score some brain points there. <laughs> That's how it's always been, though, you know. Trouble is now, there's just so many, like I say, with almost everyone knowing a tattoo is. Mm. You, you've got to be careful what you say, you do the fucking Yeah, man. you have, yeah. Well, of course you you don't know you don't know who know who who knows who from, no. from what it's it's not it's not a very healthy atmosphere to be honest with you. The only good thing is now at our, our age we don't care anymore. <laughs> we didn't care about then, so we're never going to still care now. You know that's why we don't really get involved with loads of towers. John knows hundreds of them, hundreds of them all over the world. I don't really know that many, so I've never travelled like he has. But you know the ones you want to know in your town, and that's the only ones you need to know. They, they open and close like literally like wildfire, and they don't know. And they're skipping from one and studio to another. And there's tattoos in that studio shop studio for like that one, and that one. Yeah. yeah. And they're shacking someone from that studio. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, like, you know, it's pretty hilarious, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah it ain't healthy. Yeah.
see in the future and it's not orange.